Today we commemorate the 60th anniversary of the Bay of Pigs invasion, and right now city leaders and veterans of the assault are gathered in Little Havana. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo joins us live from this event with the details. Jessica. That's right, Keith. Well, we are here at the Bay of Pigs Monument in Little Havana. The event just ended moments ago, but there was a large crowd, as you can see, right behind me. People still here. We saw many family members of these veterans, as well as many city leaders who came together to honor the veterans who sacrificed their life for freedom. Now, if you remember, the invasion happened 60 years ago in the attempt to overthrow the Castro regime. Over 100 of the 1,200 Cuban exiles who landed ashore were killed, and more than 1,000 were captured. Now, earlier today in Fort Lauderdale, in another event, both Senator Mark Rubio and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said the spirit of the veterans who lost their lives at the brigade forever lives on. Every time as you remember them and the conversations you've had with them, you realize, yes, their battleground was in Cuba, but their cause was really freedom. Members of the brigade took a stand, a stand against oppression, a stand against destitution, a stand against a morally bankrupt ideology, and a stand for freedom. And we have people who are willing to traverse 90 miles of shark-infested water to be able to get here because they seek freedom. That is the spirit of the brigade. And when we have fights in our country right now for freedom, when we're fighting against political censorship, that is the spirit of the brigade. Again, today marks the 60th anniversary of the Bay of Pigs invasion. Many people here say their heroic acts will never be forgotten. I'm live in Little Havana, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News.